Hey guys, welcome back to the BFS Fishing Channel. This is going to be the second video in a three-part series about my Abu Garcia Ambassador 2500C. And in this video, we're going to be going over all of these parts that I purchased to upgrade this 45-year-old reel and turn it into a BFS beast of a reel. So the disclaimer is basically that this reel is actually not going to be able to cast, you know, lures like trout magnets. Uh, ideally, it'll be casting lures anywhere from like the three to five gram weight range. And so that's kind of the caveat that uh, I don't think these reels are ever going to be able to get down to the one gram trout magnet weight. But, you know, you never know, right? Um, never say never. Anyways, so here are the parts that I'm going to modify my particular reel with. I've already actually gone ahead and installed some Roro SIC BFS ST bearings. The, the stock bearings that you see here are the original bearings and they were really, really gummed up. And even after cleaning these with you know acetone and isopropyl alcohol, and uh, some simple green aircraft extreme surfactant, they still don't rotate and spin very well. They spin much better than they used to, but um, they're still not perfect. Then I went ahead and kind of de-shielded them as well because I was sure that there was gonna be dirt trapped inside and uh, there was quite a bit of dirt. Anyways, just to kind of show you what they spin like. Not really the best. So I just went ahead and just kind of swapped them out because I was itching to do the modifications and um, I kind of love the Roro BFS bearings. Yeah, so just by adding in those Roro bearings, the, the line guide has been freed up quite a bit and uh, is able to kind of make its uh, oscillations, quite a few oscillations for a pretty much stock reel. Anyways, we're gonna go over these parts and uh, I'm gonna do my best to kind of explain them. I may not be, and I am definitely not an expert on this reel or these parts. And so if I explain anything wrong, please go ahead and leave a uh, correction in the comment section below. I would really appreciate it. And uh, I will definitely add your information to the description portion of this video. Okay, so the first item we're gonna talk about is going to be this. This is the Avail. So Avail is one of the is one of a few JDM brands that actually makes uh, parts for these Abu Garcia Ambassador reels. Uh, another famous one is called Valley Hill. I think they went by a different name actually prior to the Valley Hill name. And then you can oftentimes find um, some parts for these reels in places like AliExpress. I think there's a company called Ammo. Uh, I'm not sure if they're Japanese or if they're actually a Chinese brand kind of trying to look like a Japanese brand, but yeah, Ammo is another one, A-M-O, and then the other one is Valley Hill, V-A-L-L-E-Y-H-I-L-L, -L -L, all one word. Yeah, I, I just went with Avail because it was readily available on uh, a place called Hedgehog Studios. Uh, you can also purchase some of these parts through amazon.co.jp, but essentially, uh, Hedgehog seems to be one of like the bigger retailers that uh, is selling these parts. Getting back to the spool. So this is going to be an aftermarket spool for this reel. This is the AMB2520R. I think R stands for right-handed reel. One thing to note, these primarily come in right-hand retrieve. There are left-handed retrieve versions, but they are so hard to find. And I think they command a pretty hefty price because of the fact that they're so rare. But um, you will note that they are a left-hand by the number, so a left-handed version of the 2500C would be a 2501C, and then the same thing for the 1500C, which would be a 1501C. Would love to have a left-handed version, but I'm not willing to pay even more for, for this whole setup here, because this is not cheap by any means. Okay, getting back to the, the spool. So the there are three, no, four spools that Avail makes. One is a honeycomb or waffle spool. I chose not to go with that one because that one is specifically made for trout fishing. And in SoCal, we, you know, I like to trout fish primarily, but you know, we do have largemouth bass here. And so I needed a spool that was gonna be able to potentially hold up to a larger fish. So this particular model 
the 2520, the 20 actually tells me that the spool depth is about two millimeters. So it's a very shallow spool. There is a 2540 and then a 2560, and I believe the 40 is a four millimeter depth, and then the 60 is a six millimeter depth. So the weight on this is about seven grams. Still fairly lightweight. It could be lighter, but you know, that's kind of what's out there. And um, this is made out of Duralumin. So that's the spool. And then we'll just kind of go through this whole thing. So this is the Avail Level Wind Guide, and this is coming with two ball bearings. And so I believe the construction of this is aluminum. So they're kind of going for weight savings there. And then they're also adding two ball bearings. So the stock one actually has zero ball bearings. Uh, and I think it's, um, I want to say it's either steel or Maybe it's a chromed brass because these these reels were made out of chrome brass. I mean, you can kind of see the yellow uh, coloration there. So we're uh, lowering the resistance and uh, drag friction of the stock level wine guide and then also lowering the weight with this one. This part is the 5152 something in kanji and then basically it's a worm shaft gear. <laughs> the, the stock one that it kind of resides in this side plate it um it's a solid piece of some sort of plastic and then it does not have a ball bearing so again there appears to be cutouts in this worm gear uh to kind of save weight and then they're also adding two ball bearings to kind of reduce friction so more weight savings and more reduction in friction there Okay, so this is the level wind guide itself, and that's gonna replace this portion right here. Uh, I chose a gold color because I kinda wanted to stick with a gold accent theme for this reel. I think it's just a kind of classy look. Again, weight savings. Uh, I believe there's some sort of uh, anti-friction coating on here. I can't confirm, and um, yeah, I don't read Japanese. So yeah, there's that. The next item is something that Avail calls a main gear bushing. This one is in particular is made out of aluminum. And so again, weight savings. I think the stock one from what I recall is made out of brass. So a couple other advantages that this has over the stock one is that it's got a bunch more teeth for the dog the dog tooth. So that's essentially the this particular model's um, anti-reverse. Uh, they don't use that uh, the modern roller bearing design. They basically use kind of like a, a gear, a cog system, and then a little lever that prevents the gear from going reverse. So adding more teeth is going to kind of reduce the amount of slop there is, because you can see that it takes a good amount of travel before it actually stops and so that's the distance between the individual cogs on the stock uh, main gear bushing the other thing is that this comes with four little posts and what these posts do is it's pretty ingenious on, on my particular version of this reel there's only one of these posts there and that is to basically return the clutch from the disengaged uh, position to the engage position. So when you depress the clutch, it takes almost a full turn or wherever that post is to kind of re-engage the clutch mechanism. So on my particular model, it takes almost a full turn to re-engage the clutch, which is kind of nuts. So by adding uh, three additional ones to, for a total of four, it'll hopefully reduce the travel distance that the reel handle needs to go to to kind of return and, and re-engage the clutch. So just kind of uh, weight savings and then also kind of modernizing the feel of the reel a little bit more. So really excited for that. The next upgrade item is going to be the main gear and pinion. And so I don't recall the actual gear ratio of this reel. I think it's like a five or even lower to one gear ratio. And so I, I did touch on this where the pickup rate of line, I guess IPT, is really, really low on these reels. Yeah, not really great for, you know, fishing in general. So what Avail has done is they've gone ahead and introduced and manufactured a couple different models. Uh, this particular one is made out of Duralumin. I believe they have a brass 
uh, main gear offering. And then they have a couple different gear ratios. So this particular one is a 6.1 to one. They have a 6.0 to one. And the reason I didn't go with brass is because it's a, a heavier material. And um, yeah, I wanted to kind of save as much weight as possible because this thing is really hefty, really heavy as well. So looking forward to seeing out how this actually improves the um, retrieval rate. And then one of the, oh, not the last one, there's two more. So these are little tiny brake shoes. These brake shoes are the extra small. Uh, I think that uh, kanji is chisai, which means small. And so uh, these basically replace the stock brake shoes that I have, which actually still work. And they, uh, yeah, I'm wondering if those are the originals too. Anyway, so I picked up a, a couple of those. And so those will be going on to the spool here. And that's where right here is where they will go. Okay, next up is going to be, this is gonna be this Haneda Craft uh, handle. And so this is a 80 millimeter throw. It's got this really nice kind of classic chrome look. I think you can get them in different finishes and uh, different colors, uh, different knob materials as well. Um, Hedgehog Studios was kind of out of this one on their website, but I just kind of reached out to them via email and uh, they were able to kind of short order this for me. So um, yeah, looking forward to having a longer handle throw and some more ergonomic knobs for the reel because using this little tiny, I think it's a polycarbonate material of some sort, but I could be wrong. Um, yeah, it's riveted on and it's it's uh, you know it's seen better days. It's got a lot of slop in there. The kind of texture that it used to have is completely almost completely gone as well. Uh, really cool that it's there, and I I, I dig the um, the counterweight design. But um, you know I kind of like going back to the um, the double handle knob design. Okay, and so the last item is going to be this. This is the 2500C Smooth Operator Kit. It's made by a guy named Simon Shimamura, and he is known as Mr. Ambassador. He's actually really, really famous in the um, the kind of ambassador world, and he designed his own kit for the, this is essentially a pinion bushing and return. So his kit was so good, according to Robert, that in the more recent years of the reel, they actually sourced his kits for those reels. So that says a lot about that. Anyways, that's pretty much all the parts. There are still a lot more parts that you can get for this reel, which is really crazy. I mean, you can replace the frame so you have an offset frame so that the reel seat itself sits higher up. So it feels more like a contemporary reel because if you look, and, and I showed this in my last video, you can see how tall this reel is compared to this reel. So uh, there's that, you can get brake plates. Uh, that's another part that um, we'll kind of see in the teardown video. And then you can you know, even replace this, this knob and you can send off these uh, side plates to kind of have them refinished and, and I think re-anodized as well. Yeah, I think pretty much you can kind of build this reel from the ground up. You don't really need to have this reel. I think that it'll be really expensive, but uh, you definitely can do that. Oh, one cool thing. This actually has a drag clicker. This is a 45 year old reel that has a drag clicker on it. How cool is that, right? Anyways, it's really neat to see that, uh, you know, old school technology is, is still relevant today and that uh, there are companies out there that still wanna keep these reels relevant. Um, I am really, really excited to get into this reel and kind of work on it and um, bring this reel up to modern times. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this one. If you guys have any questions, concerns, leave a question in the comment section below, leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.